Hi everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech review, back with another video today. Today's video is a quick tip video. You got that beautiful Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, or even the Galaxy Note 20, I'm gonna show you how to change your keyboard and change your default keyboard if you don't like the Samsung keyboard. These steps are very easy to do, and I'm gonna just show you. I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible, get to the point really quick. Like I said, because it's a quick tip video, I don't wanna make it eight minutes long when it can be two minutes. I usually do this because I don't like the Samsung keyboard. It's not bad, I just like using Gboard or even Swift key, and then LG's keyboard too, but you know, I only use that on LG's uh, devices. If you have any other keyboards that you use, let me know in the comments so that way I can check out, you know, a couple other keyboards. So the first thing you wanna do is download your favorite keyboard from the Play Store. So you go to the Play Store, you type in keyboards, and it will bring up your favorite keyboards that you wanna download. After you download your favorite keyboards, the next step you wanna do is go into your settings, general management, you wanna to go to language and input. On the screen, you have a couple different options. The one we're gonna focus on now is keyboards. So you wanna click on on-screen keyboards. Right now, it only shows the Microsoft Swift keyboard and Samsung's uh, keyboard. So what you need to do is hit manage keyboards, and then any keyboard you download would be on this page. So I'm gonna hit Gboard, I'm gonna hit Gboard voice type, type in, and then also, this is a new one I'm trying out. I don't know if I like it or not, but that's one of the new ones I'm trying out. What I forgot to mention earlier, with the Note 20 Ultra and the Note 20, it comes with SwiftKey already installed. And I like SwiftKey, it's, it's a good keyboard. So once you do that, all you need to do is hit the backspace. So on your screen, you can actually see at the top where it says default keyboard. You just click on that and you can pick what keyboard you wanna use. So I'm gonna use Gboard. And now Gboard is my default keyboard. So I'm gonna give you another tip real quick. If you wanna change the theme or you wanna change any of the settings on your keyboard, if you hold down Gboard, it will actually bring up different things. So you can change your theme. You can do many different things in here. So I have like a teal color, but you can do whatever you want. You could change it to landscape. So you back out. Now, if you go into any app and you hit a keyboard, as you can tell, that is Google's keyboard. And that is the theme I have on there, which is like a teal looking color. It's very easy to do. Now the sweet thing about the Note 20 and the Note 20 Ultra, if you wanna just use a different keyboard on the fly, you can hit just these little buttons down here and you can change it. I can go to Samsung. And now that is the Samsung keyboard. Pretty easy to do, pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. If this video helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure you do so for more coverage on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Make sure you follow me on Twitter at Ford's Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace, I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day now.